Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to define and use buildings in FAST and Safeti. Building data is very important in modeling concentration buildup for indoor releases and toxic effects inside buildings. In FAST and Safeti, buildings serve several purposes during modeling. First, is for indoor releases, where it models the buildup and decay of gas concentration inside the building. Second, is for releases involving toxic materials, where it calculates downwind toxic effects indoors. And finally, is for modeling the effect of the building wake on the dispersion of releases inside or near the building. So let's start with defining the properties for a building. We need to go to the map tab and within this tab, you will see the Buildings folder. The Buildings folder is where we define each combination of data for ventilation and toxic behavior for different building types. So to create a building, right-click on the Buildings folder, choose Insert, and select Building Type. We want to rename this. Now open this Building Type in the In-Building Release tab, enter Ventilation Data for Concentration Buildup, and in here, you can specify either natural or forced ventilation types under the ventilation type dropdown. You then have to specify the air changes. And then within the indoor toxic modeling tab, this contains ventilation and evacuation data for indoor toxic effects calculations. So you have to specify the building exchange rate, the tail time, and whether it's wind speed dependent. So once you're done, select OK. Now let's take a look at how you define an individual building under this specific building type. So to add, right-click on the building type, go to Insert, and select Building. The program will not immediately add the building. So in the GIS input view, Draw a rectangle to define the building's dimensions. Click once to place the first corner, then click again to place the adjacent corner, then drag and click to set the length of the rectangle, like this. So now a new building has been created. Let's rename this. Then now we need to define its properties. To edit the building properties, double-click the building, Make sure that the geometry are correct, the width, the length, as well as the lower and the upper elevation are appropriate. So in this example, we will specify a four meter elevation. You need to make sure that the correct dimensions for the buildings are specified as this will be used in the calculation for concentration buildup and for the building wake effects. So now you will also see that there is a building wake tab. This is where you specify the properties for your chimney such as diameter and height. And once you're done, click OK. So now let's take a look at how you select the building for an in-building release scenario. So go to the Models tab and then select the pressure vessel or the storage equipment that you want to be considered as an in-building release. Double click and then now you need to go to the Bond, Building and Terrain tab. Within this tab, you will see that you have a Release Building drop-down. Select the building of interest and then for an in-building release, check this in-building release. Then you need to specify whether you want to model the building wake effects through this building wake effect drop-down and ensure that all these other fields are appropriate for your model. Now, let's take a look at how you select the building type for indoor toxic effects. So in this specific example, I am modeling a release that is both toxic and flammable. That means that the Toxic Parameters tab is enabled. So to select the building type for indoor toxic effects, go to the Toxic Parameters tab and then check the box, specify the downwind building type. Choose the appropriate building from this list. For example, we can select the building type that we have just created. Once you have selected the appropriate building, this will enable indoor toxic calculations for that specific building. So this is how you define and use the buildings feature within FAST and Safeti. But remember that when you select the building at the equipment item level, this sets this as default for all scenarios under that specific equipment. But selecting at the scenario level applies it only to that specific scenario. Thank you for watching this how-to video.